Jean Lafitte, fluent in French, English, and Spanish. With my brother Pierre, we opened a warehouse in New Orleans in 1803. With Congress passing an embargo act on all U.S. ships and ports, Louisiana could not survive without foreign trade. We opened our own port of Barataria. In the 1812 war, the Barataria ships authorized by Congress fought the British as privateers. In 1814, I was approached by the British with a letter from their King George offering me money and land to join them in invading New Orleans. I refused. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Advancing on New Orleans was a British army of 10,000 men. Against them, General Jackson's volunteer forces, short of powder and flints and their muskets, numbered 4,000. I offered him the powder, the flints, 1,000 men and 300 cannon. In my return, my men arrested by revenue officers would be granted amnesty and my ships and goods returned. January 8th marked an American victory. The attacking British being destroyed by cannon grape shot, losing over 2,000 against an American loss of 71. Our ships and goods were not returned. Accused, we left Barataria, creating a new colony, Campeche, a Galvez town. We continued as warriors under the flags of Mexico and Cartagena against Spain. President Madison writes me that Galvez Town is part of the Louisiana Purchase. The U.S. Navy arrives in 1820 with a demand that we leave. I will burn Campeche tonight and sail south to the Yucatan. Am I a patriotic warrior? A pirate? A smuggler? You be the judge.